Hey YouTube, how's it going? So today we are gonna go over sales from the middle of June. So if you are like I am, every time you go on vacation or set your channel to vacation mode, you start getting a little nervous. Like, oh man, are people gonna stop buying from me? Or uh, I'm not gonna have any sales this week or these two weeks or three weeks or um, whatever. Um, but I'm here to tell you that I had a pretty decent week last week and I wasn't here at my place at all. So let me pull everything out and show you what I sold. Let's get right into it. Okay, for starters, here is my sales. Uh, you can see the last seven days was around $392, um, which sales are a bit down right now. So during the height of the pandemic, um, I was at about $5,500 gross. Um, per month right now I'm sitting at around uh, 4,000 maybe maybe 4100 um, the last seven days looks like about 400 I actually just did some quick math I had five cancellations during the time I was gone partly because I was on my vacation mode and um, total would have been seven hundred dollars 23 sales and all so let's go through them Okay, not included in these sales of $392 is this $80 pair of uh, uh, Air Zoom, Nike Air Zoom. Um, these are $80, I took the best offer. The person has purchased them twice now and not paid me yet. Just so you know, I paid $40 for these at a Ross one time when I was shopping and bought too much stuff. Okay, these bad boys are doing awesome for me. Let me tell you just really quickly about them. I sold one for $29.99. And so I got these for $2.34 um, or something like that, a piece. Uh, I bought like 80 of them. And so when I sold my first three, I'm in the profit and everything, everything's paid for now. I may be off when I said 80. No, I bought like 40. Anyway, great purchase. So these were at Lowe's and they have their yellow clearance and they'll give you half off the lowest price from time to time. Take advantage of that. Okay, next sale, two cans of Easy Off Oven Cleaner. Uh, sold these for $18.99. For two of them, I do them in a flat rate uh, mailer for $7.55, $7.75. And I also put these inside a bag so they don't leak. This stuff is very caustic. These cost me $2 a piece. Yeah, not the hugest uh, sale, but when you have like 20 lots of it, you know, there you go. Okay, some very nice O'Neal shorts that I sold for 20 bucks. I got these for $4 at Ross. Had them for probably six months now. Okay, anything bird related does pretty well for me. So I got this for $4 at Home Depot and I offered a lady 25. She took it. No, it was a guy, it was a guy, Mike. Thank you, Mike. Um, so $25 and this actually is costing me more than I wanted to to ship. And I'm only gonna make about $5 off of this item. Um, but it is what it is. On, honestly, on that one, I have to keep it under three pounds to make a profit. So all I'm going to do is wrap it in a couple layers of wrap and put it inside a large poly mailer. Sometimes that's what you have to do, but I've never had any complaints. So don't be scared to do that if you got the extra bubble wrap. Okay, two bottles of uh, wood polish. Um, these were $2 a piece at Home Depot and they sold for $25.99 free shipping, so I will put them inside of a plastic bag and then inside a flat rate padded mailer for $7.75. Okay, so this lot of cars minus this one, these all sold for $20 free shipping. I got them for, um, including this one and one that I already sold for 10 bucks, I got them all for $5 at a garage sale. You may have seen that video. So that lot with 20, this car itself is 20, and the little silver one I also already sold for 13, um, 10 plus $3 shipping. So you're into it, 53 bucks, $48 uh, minus shipping. So, you know, I made about 30 bucks and everybody's happy. Okay, right over here we have these um, tables that I've just loved selling. So these are $31 at my local Home Depot. Um, they sell for 90 on my site. Um, this one here sold for a gal in my state, so it cost me about $15 to ship to her, and the one behind it cost me cost me about $26 ship out, so 
depending on where the people are located, um, there has been times where I've broke even on those, but typically I sell those to people, um, it seems like in California and the West. So it's, it's uh, worked out pretty nicely for me. I make about 20 to $40 per table. And I've sold tons of them, and Home Depot still has a stack of them for the same price. I love it. All right, so up here, we have our most jealous item of the day, and you all know that you want it. And that would be a brand new women's shake weight with DVD included. It is brand new, um, although it is open. So, there's a $2 price tag on there, and that's, I'm sure I either paid that or less. Um, and I sold it for $27.06 uh, with taxes and it's free shipping. That'll go into a flat rate mailer of seven seventy five. dollars um, And just so you know, shake weights don't come battery powered. I thought they did. When I picked it up, I'm like, how does this thing turn on? I'm sitting there shaking it around. Um, yeah. I don't know that the buyer is going to like this thing, but maybe they will. So this next item I have had so long, I don't even really know where it is. I know that supposedly it's in with my outdoors and shipping supplies items. Um, ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, got it. That's a huge bag of lures, or uh, sorry, bobbers. Um, and they are Lord Calvert brand for all you whiskey fans out there. So those are on consignment from a guy. Uh, what he does is he brings me things and we split the profit after shipping. So I think I sold those for 10 plus $5 shipping. So what, he's going to get like four bucks. Is what it is. Uh, next item, keep it right rolling. Two more of those. You already know what those are going for. Um, and so these halo lights, I got $16.99 or $15. Sixteen twenty-six all in for the buyer. Um, I made a video on these about how I got um, this whole box over here. So this entire box, each one of these in this box cost me one penny. Um, there's eight in there, and I listed them for. Right now they're on for fifteen dollars, so I can get some sales going. Um, but I am going to up the price closer to twenty dollars, which is a little more um, what they're worth, I think, right now. So. Just my honest, um, my honest uh, words, like go watch that video. It, I think it was like three videos ago. It's called The Power of Reselling. And you can see how I bought a bunch of stock from the profits off of those items right there. Now, I know I've only sold one, but I will sell them all. Um, and I am keeping track of that money and we will see how it does. Okay, very unique item here. This is a pair of Nike Air foam posits. Um, they kind of don't even look like Nike, but there's your proof. Um, so I got these for $50 at Ross and I sold them for $142. The buyer's all in. Um, so yeah, obviously double my money and any of the athletic shoe that you list for over a hundred dollars, you pay no final value fee. So if I would have sold this for a hundred bucks plus shipping, I get $100 in my pocket. Remember that, remember that. Go for high-end athletic shoes. All right, I sold these uh, gloves here. So that was from a three-pack, but I only sold two of them. So here's my little trick here. Um, I am no longer in construction, so I don't need to buy three packs of gloves anymore. Um, I might go through a pair, not even every year now. Uh, whereas when I was doing construction, I'd buy a, a, a pair of three every month, right? So I bought that pair, uh, the three pack was five bucks. Um, and I took the pair out that I wanted and I sold the other two pair for $17.50 free shipping. I get free gloves and the buyer still gets a great deal on gloves. Um, hate me if you want, but that's a great way to do things. Okay guys, so there's most of my uh, sales from when I was on vacation. And um, so yeah, there was 400 and uh, like I said, I had to cancel some things, about 480 bucks altogether. And uh, yeah, so when you're on a vacation and you have sales like that coming in, it, it helps It helps you have a good time, you know, not worry about things as much. Um, so next on my list, man, I got things galore. 
I have more to list than I have listed, I think. Um, I still have a bunch of stuff from the yard sale that I highlighted not too long ago. Um, I'm getting backed up. I'm getting backed up. So I, I really need to sit, spend some solid hours listing my items um, so I can make another video of private garage sale shopping and take you along with me. Um, so yeah, I felt the uh, love and support lately. Uh, please leave messages and comments. Um, I'm actually gonna do a giveaway of, I have these five toiletry boxes that, um, so they're basically just, um, there's roughly $30, $25, $30 worth of um, care items in there. And during COVID when nobody wanted to go outside, I had those on, I had them on clearance um, or on sale for ni starting at 99 cents uh, for what anybody could afford. I only sold one and I have five left. So I'm still gonna list them and try to sell them, but I'm gonna go ahead and give away one of those. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna do it. If I get enough uh, comments on this um, listing, then I'll uh, give it away to somebody who comments. If not, then I'll just give it away randomly to a subscriber. And if you don't need it, then I'll give it away to somebody else. All right, stay safe and take care, guys. Much love, never stop and never settle.